This was the most high-powered group ever to meet to discuss how to stop the trade in illegal wildlife. More than 40 countries were represented and they were greeted by Prince Charles and his sons William and Harry. Today, the government leaders assembled here will sign the London Declaration, committing to several bold new steps forward, including new pledges to address what is the most significant problem, in my view, that of demand for and consumption of specific products from critically endangered wildlife. Imagine if all the people in the world could fit into one stadium. Sadly, all the wild rhinos in the world can, with room to spare. To get the message to an even wider audience, Prince William enlisted the help of David Beckham and the Chinese basketball star Yao Ming. Rhino horn now fetches the same price as gold, and around £6 billion is made each year by the criminal gangs who target endangered species. For countries like Tanzania that rely heavily on tourism revenue, catching the poachers is vital. We believe that the ivory trade must be completely banned and we believe that the world and the international community must come together uh, to support these initiatives. If poaching continues at its present rate, the African elephant could be extinct in the wild within a decade. And it's never too late to change attitudes you know, of, of the people who, who buy these products. We can give them better information. We can educate them about this. Uh, not everybody in the world understands uh, that ivory, uh, getting ivory, involves killing the elephant. Growing demand from Asia, and in particular China and Vietnam, is fueling the resurgence of the poachers. When you're growing up, when uh, coincidentally I saw the TV, how they kill the shark, how they kill the animal, rhino, Elephant, that really hurts me. The delegates here have agreed to meet again next year in Africa. They know only too well the extent of the problem. Their challenge now is to stop the culprits. And the Brady Sky News, Central London.